Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to Holy Nation Church of Memphis, empowering you for life Bible study. I am Pastor Andrew Perpiner Jr. And I thank God for all of you tuning in. We have a wonderful teaching on this evening. We thank God for you. Get your pen, get your paper, get your Bible in whatever device or your paperback. Get all that. We're going to, we got a great teaching. We're going to deal with faith. This is, we're starting our faith series. We're going to deal with faith. Oh, Pastor, I know about faith. I live by faith. I walk by faith. All right. Well, that's all right. You, you can help teach this class then, but we thank God for you. We want to want, uh, ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like our Facebook page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell somebody. Good evening, Angela. Praise the Lord. Good to see you. Go on and like, share, 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 share. If you're on Facebook, Hit that share button and let somebody know that we are getting ready to talk about faith. Pastor Andrew is on and we're going to talk about faith. Uh, uh, if you're on your YouTube channel, go on and hit that share button as well. Go on and and and, and text, uh, text that link out. Email that link out. Do what you need to do. Amen. We thank God for you, uh, for all of you that are on. Um Faith is 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 an important caveat. Uh, go on and uh, click on, uh, go to your comment section if you're on YouTube or if you're on Facebook, and let us know where you're from, where you're where you're hailing from today, how you're watching us. If you're from uh, Iowa, wherever, go on and put that in the chat and and let us know where you're from. We're gonna give everybody a little moment few moments to come on, uh, but we thank God. Holy Nation Church of Memphis. Let me talk about it. 3333 Old Brownsville Road in the Raleigh Bartlett area here in Shelby County, Memphis, Tennessee. We are, we celebrated our 18th year in ministry, uh, pastoring at Holy Nation. We started, uh, First Lady and I founded uh, Holy Nation Church uh, 18 years ago. Isn't that something going on 19 now? But it has most definitely been a, a splendid pleasure. We have the best church members in the world. Oh, my God. I thank God. If you remember Holy Nation, you're going to put it out there in the chat while we're getting started. Amen. And we thank God. We thank God for your Holy Nation Church of Memphis empowering you. We evangelize the lost, disciple the believer, and empower the disciple. That's who we are. We are here to, to, to give you the tools you need to succeed. How about that? Amen. So we thank God. Go on and uh, let me know who's out there. Go on out if you're, yeah, Angela, I see you out there. And, and somebody else, if you're, if you're from out of town or whatever, go on and put that out there as well. Uh, we got some new members out there. Good, good to see you guys. We thank God for you as well. Uh, God is doing something great. At the nation, at the nation, we're 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 changing lives, amen. And listen, you you need to bring your youth. Uh, you got some children, bring them to our youth department. We got a youth department that is second to none, and they're growing and they're excited about young lives, amen. Hey, Bert Tia, good evening, amen. A member from the beginning, amen. So good to see. Bertia out there. We thank God for you. How many of you uh, operate uh, by faith? Anybody? If you're saved, I know you operate by faith, but just want you to begin to uh, get into that. Deborah Faith Washington, praise the Lord. Good to see you. Good to see you, all of you. I'm trying to get everything together here so I can see you guys when all of this began. So y'all can talk back to to pass as well. Uh, but we thank God, Deborah Faith. Uh, thank God for you. Thank God for you and your family, your entire family. Uh, Jaira Washington out there in, in uh, Fedware High School, uh, coach out there. We thank God for you and we're praying for you guys. Uh, we are dealing with faith. Faith. This is our faith series. You might want to get you some paper, get you a composition folder because faith is something that each one of us need to, uh, uh, to do all kind of things. So uh, let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, God, we say thank you for our lives. We thank you for health and strength. 
I ask you to continue to bless us, sanctify us, keep us in your tender care. Uh, decrease me, Lord, and let me be able to uh, uh, rightly divide the word of truth. Uh, let somebody be healed, delivered, set free, empowered by your word on this evening. In Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Amen. Listen, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. Faith, 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 faith. Uh, good to see you, Mother Rollins, out there. So when we talk about uh, being a Christian, if you're talking about being a Christian, studying the word of God, following the precepts of God, divine healing, miracles, blessings, and uh where the streets are paved with gold. If you're talking about any of those things, to obtain and witness any of those things, beloved, you will, it will be impossible for you to do that without faith. Faith. Hear me say faith. Put it in the chat. Faith. It's going to be impossible without faith. You can't, can't study the word of God and get understanding without faith. You can't follow the precepts of God without faith. The, talk about divine healing and miracles without faith. Blessings in uh, heaven where the streets are paved with gold. All of these things, though these are uh, 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 miraculous things. These are glorious things, but uh, without faith. It's not going to happen for you. I hate to say it. Isn't that something? Faith. Uh, but but the good thing about it is um, Hebrews 11, 6 says this, but without faith, uh, it is impossible uh, to please God uh, without faith. Uh, that word is pistis, pistis, P-I-S-T-I-S, without pistis, or which means belief, trust, and confidence. Come on, hear me say it. Belief, trust, and confidence. Put it in the chat. Belief, trust, and confidence. Let the comments be your notes for this evening. Belief, trust, and confidence. But without faith, without that belief, without that trust, without that confidence in God, it is impossible to please God. For he that uh, cometh to God must believe, trust, and confidence, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Isn't that something? So before we jump on down the road and, and won't shout and all that kind of stuff and put our name on the roll and, and, and join a whole lot of things in the church, we need to hang our hats on faith. What is it? What is it? You need to make sure uh, it's almost like uh, uh, um, skipping the first and second grade. And now you get into, I guess, third with curtsy writing and all that kind of stuff. You need to understand what makes uh, your, your, your spiritual man operate properly. Faith. Faith is that gift from God that no one else can produce or give you. Faith is that what? Thank you. Faith is that gift from God, received from God, that no one else can produce or give, right? Faith, faith, faith. I'm going to, I'm going to take, take my time and, and, and try to drive this on home. Faith is that uh, received from God. It's a gift, that no one else, you can't get faith from your mother. Uh, your, your, your parents can teach you about faith, but they cannot uh, 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 gift you or uh, bequeath you faith in God. Amen. It's a gift that they don't have the ability to give nor pass along. Uh, sometimes we try uh, in the church sometimes. Hey, Margaret, but, but, but nobody can do that. Uh, the root word of pistis, remember faith, that Hebrew uh, pistis, uh, is pethio, or meaning to persuade or to be persuaded, pethio, uh, to persuade or be persuaded. So when we are talking about faith in God, we are talking about a divine persuasion, a divine persuasion. It is God's warranty 
that guarantees the fulfillment of the revelation. He, he, he births within the receiver uh, uh, divine persuasion. Put that in the chat. Faith is divine persuasion. Go on, everybody do it. Come on. Faith is divine persuasion. Faith is divine persuasion. Faith in God is divine persuasion. Okay. So what is faith? Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Go there. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 says this. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, faith, faith, faith it is the substance um, of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. It sounds like a riddle, right? We'll break that on down in a little bit. Now, faith is the substance. Uh, you know what substance is? Material substance. Uh, the 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 content that it takes to uh, manifest something. Faith. I mean, the substance. Substance. If you're gonna build a car, you need metal, fiberglass. Uh, plastics, paint, bundle, glass, uh, uh, materials for sitting, substance. You need substance for that to build that car. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna have a nice suit made, you're going before you can wear the suit. You must, <laughs> you must have the substance. Touch your neighbor. Before you can have the suit, you must have the substance. The, the suit must possess the substance. Amen. So that be it cotton, rayon, nylon, silk, fur, whatever you're going to have on that suit, it must, it's the substance. Faith is the substance. So we know faith is that divine, that we're talking about a divine thing. Uh, faith is that divinely persuasion, divine faith. So the substance, now faith is the substance of things so far. So the substance is divine as well. Amen. Of things so far. For the evidence of things not seen. So all of this that 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 we are working with, ah, uh, my God, all this that we're working with, all this that you're working with when it comes to faith. Nobody can see it. Not even you uh, uh, at the beginning. Nobody can see it. It's divinely designed. It's 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 an architecture. It's a it's a it's a rendering. Uh huh. It's a manufacturing process. Faith uh, of things hoped for. You're hoping for it, but you have not pulled it down. God is working on your case. He's working with you. Just look at God as the plant manager. Look at God as the uh the uh the where the sources are coming from. Uh you you want to build uh a a table, but you got to reach out to the people that are going to uh, get the trees and send it on down and ship it on down and cut the wood to get the table to a point where it can manifest. So here's the thing. Remember, we are talking about some things that have not yet manifested. So we are we are talking about raw material. We're talking about divine raw material that God has inside of you. He's our source and he has impregnated, he has gifted you with this divine resource. Isn't that something? Y'all getting this? Y'all getting this? Uh, faith is God. Uh, uh, he, 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 he has given you that divine resource, that divine supply, okay? So now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So evidence, thank you, is the residue from that which has what what the substance leaves. Okay, the evidence of things not seen. In other words, the residue. Uh, the faith is the substance. Things hope for 
the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Amen. So faith, it, it has it has residue. It has substance. You have you have built this in the spirit. So when you're praying, when you're fasting, when you are believing God, you're believing God for you're not believing God with empty hands. You're not believing God with empty hearts and empty head. You're believing God for what the gift he has already given you. Okay. He's already given it to you. Can you see? What do you mean, Pastor? God has already. Remember, faith is a gift that nobody can gift you but God. So God is not going to uh, uh, make you or expect you. Okay, again, without faith, it's impossible to please God, right? So God is not going to expect you to please him and you're not have you you don't have the ability to okay so you have that divine material you also have uh, you have the opportunity you have the know-how how do i do this pastor we'll see let's go to hebrews 11 and 3 uh go down to hebrews 11 and 3 and it says this through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So through this, this, this divine persuasion, through this gift that God has given us, mm, touch your neighbor, through the gift that God has given us, this defi divine persuasion, this, this source, uh, we understand that the word of God framed the world. God spoke and things began to happen. All of those things that began to happen were invisible things. Okay, somebody, here's the thing. This is where the enemy gets us. Hello, Joseph. Uh, this is where the enemy gets us a lot of times. You're praying, you're fasting, you're tithing, you're sowing seeds of faith. You're doing what the Lord said. You, you, you're doing these things, but yet the manifestation has not appeared in your time frame. You, you gave God, believe it or not, you gave God a, a time to bless you. You gave God a time to heal your body. You gave God a time to those things that you had in your mind in your finite mind, we'll end up giving God a time frame. And then when God does not move according to our time frame, then we are all twisted and, and despondent, depressed, oppressed, and want to give up on our, we want to give the gift back. We want to give the gift of faith back because God has not moved when we thought he should have moved. But pastor, I'm, I'm however old you are. It doesn't matter however old you are. It's not about you. Through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which doth appear. Uh, things that are seen were not made of things that doth appear. In other words, there are two processes. Thank you. We you, you got to you have the divine process, and then you have that the, that that carnal physical process, that divine process uh, where where if you're riding in a car, you got a new car yesterday. That's old news. That's old news to faith. That, that should be old news to you. If you're in a house, you've just purchased a house. You may have just moved into an apartment. You may have gotten a job. Whatever it is that you've been praying about, once it's manifested, once you can see it and everybody else can see it too, once everybody else can see um, the evidence of your faith, 
when people can see the evidence, remember evidence of things, stuff is not seen, those things are not seen. But when people can see the evidence of your faith, it, you're in a whole nother process at that point. That's old news. Got it? So through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now, you know, they keep talking about uh, super earths. I heard that on the news and, and, uh, uh, various and sundry things. Okay, uh, I think a, a big um, telescope uh, house just saw something new last week that they hadn't ever, they never seen. They've been looking in that direction, uh, li- looking in that solar system, never saw it. Now all of a sudden something appears. Well, through faith, we understand that the world is, is it, God, ain't, it, he's not making any mistake. We understand that the words were framed by the word of God. In other words, God articulated into the heavenlies. When have you articulated in the heavenlies? When you go to Genesis 1 and 1, all of that is a specific. Those are specifics. That, that's in all order. Those are uh, 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 spiritual dynamics that look like physical dynamics. He, he looked in the world was void and without form. And, and he saw these things. He looked, he saw those things. Then he spake and things began to happen. Uh, it's a business plan. It's a, it's a, it's a vision board. Uh, you as a, uh, we are made in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, you should be operating in the likeness of God. You that that's why Genesis is there. The the whole Bible is a is a is a is a teacher's edition of what we should be doing here on earth. Is that something? So so he framed the uh, everything. The worlds were framed. The worlds were made. The worlds were manifested. By the word of God in your mind, hallelujah, your mind, if you're going to do a business plan, it's in your mind before you can pull things down, before you, whatever you see, if you see a bridge going over the Mississippi River, somebody pull that down out of the heavenlies. If you see a car, you might be driving in a car. You may be riding a motorcycle. Somebody, somebody, ah, so, oh my God, here it goes. Not no group. Somebody pull that out of the heavenlies. Faith, faith, your faith, it's according to you. According to your faith, be it done unto you. Amen. See, your faith is for you to operate and pull things down that will bless people that will bless God's church, your faith. We have to understand that's why uh, 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 vision can be so big. It can be uh, large. It can be uh, intimidating. Amen. Because it's not it's not about you. God has gift, gifted you. He has impregnated you with something that as you deal in his word, as you deal in the spiritual realm, as you eat the word of God, as you ingest the word of God, it becomes a part of you. So you can be able to be impregnated uh-huh, to bring forth for God's people faith. OK. Faith is used for three things in reference to, write this down, salvation, prayer, and unseen things. Salvation, prayer, and unseen things. Faith is used for three things. What is it? Salvation, prayer, and unseen things. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So, so salvation. Let's go to Romans 4 and 25. Romans 4 and 25. Is this okay? Romans 4 and 25. Somebody, uh uh-huh, you, 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 you caught it. You you got the gift of God to heal. You have the gift of God to be healed. You have the gift of God for a whole lot of things. You 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 got to understand God has it inside of you. He would dare not let you walk this earth 
and need certain things and not give you the wherewithal to bring to four. Okay. Romans 4 25 says this, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Who was delivered for our offenses? Jesus Christ and was raised again for our justification, for salvation. Jesus was de delivered for our offenses. Jesus was born. Here's the thing. Jesus being born as Mary's baby was evidence that God had prepared in the heavenlies way before he was needed. The, the manifestation of Jesus, just the fact that he showed up, let you know that everything was going to be all right. Amen. Okay, let's see. Somebody, some of you have received some manifestation, some evidence of faith. You prayed, it happened. You, you fasted, it happened. And now that it has happened, you want to doubt. Ha! Oh my goodness. God says, go back to the place, the first place, that you 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 sought him. Go back to that first place that you used the gift of faith that he gave you, and go back and do it again. And but this time, not for the thing that he already supplied you with, but the thing that you need to help what you what he supplied you with to sustain you. God says, go back, pull that, pull on that faith. Pull on that divine persuasion and pull down out of the heaven. Is that what you need? Hallelujah. Just the fact that you have what you have, let me know and should let you know that you know how the process works. Amen. Amen. God. Oh, amen. Keep, keep, keep using your faith. Uh, keep using your faith. Uh, so the first thing for salvation. The second thing. Faith is used for prayer. So faith is that, um, let's say, 1 John 5 and 14. Go there. 1 John. 1 John. Is this okay? 1 John 5 and 14. Turn with me. Hallelujah. 1 John 5 and 14. Amen. 1 John on down there. Uh, 5 and 14. This is Holy Nation Church of Memphis, empowering you for life, Bible study. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If this is good teaching, if you think somebody's going to be blessed, go on and hit that share button right now. 1 John 5 and 14. And it reads, and this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything, not anything, but anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. Let's go back 14 again. And this is the confidence that we have in him, Jesus that if we ask anything according to his will, remember it's it's not our will. Uh, Jesus said on, on, on the cross, not my will, but thy will be done. Uh, it's, it's, it's not even Jesus' will. It, it is not your will. It's not my will. It's God's will, God's gift, God given. Hallelujah. God's resources, God's materials, God's evidence. So isn't that something? It's not hard when you're in alignment with God, anything according to his will. So if he allowed you to bring it in, if he allowed you for it to manifest, it's in his will. He heareth us. And if we know that, so you, it's a knowing that you got to know that you know that God hears you. Your son, he hears you. 
your daughter. He hears you, your job, your career, your business, your spouse, your friend, your community. God hears you. And since he hears you, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. Faith used in prayer. Faith used in salvation. Let's go to this third one. As used in reference to unseen things. Faith used as in reference to unseen things. Let's go back to Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Uh, that's, that's faith. 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 Uh, but go there. Hebrews 11 and 1. And we got to take our time. And it says this. Now faith is the substance, right? It's the real foundation. Okay, Pastor, what are you saying? We are, um, if you're saved, if you're in Christ, you have two citizenships. You have a, a earthly citizenship and you have a heavenly citizenship. In other words, you say, so you already belong there. Mm -mm, you better use your faith. You better use your faith and understand that what's real, what's real to God, you are his child. What's real to God, uh, what's real to Jesus, you are uh, his uh, younger brother. You are his younger sister. You are part of the royal family. It's not, it's not, you, it ain't about waiting till you die to be part of the royal family. You're part of the royal family. Now you are a king's kid. You should be working and moving in kingdom principles. Isn't that something? See, here's the thing. No, thank you, Lord. Don't, don't be confused when you're trying to operate in earthly and carnal principles. Because what you're finding yourself doing there is trying to do what you see instead of working with kingdom principles when you're doing what cannot be seen by anybody else. Hallelujah. You know, when you're praying, when you're believing, when you're trusting God, when you're beseeching him and pulling down in the, in the heavenlies and you holding on and you're grasping to that, which is real. Nobody can see that. They think you crazy. Matter of fact, that's why you need a closet. So you can go in your secret closet and, and have you a real experience with God. Ah, so now faith is something of uh, a real foundation of things hope for the evidence or the proof of the conviction of those things not seen for by it. Here we come. The elders obtained a good report through faith. We understand we're pulling it together that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So uh, here in chapter 11, chapter 11. Uh, 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 pays tribute to many of the Old Testament heroes of faith, such as Noah and Abraham and Sarah and Joseph and Moses. These men and women were strong people of faith and out of their faith came strength to do something. Out of faith, we began to have strength to, here's the word, y'all ready? Put this in the chat, endure. Mm, 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 don't give up, endure. Faith gives us the strength to endure. Put that, ah, put, put it in there, say, I have faith to endure. There you go, Crystal, put it in there, endure. I, I, I have faith to endure. Matter of fact, go on and testify. Put it in the comments, say, I have faith to endure. Go on and exercise your faith right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Type it out. Say, I have faith to endure. That's it, I have faith to endure. Go on and put it. Come on, y'all, wake up. Uh, I have faith to endure. Somebody else needs to see you doing it. They need to see it on the comments for them. They're going through and they need to know that somebody is with us saying, I have faith to endure. I don't know. I have faith to endure. Go on and put it down there, y'all. Y'all not moving fast enough for me. Come on. I have faith to 
endure. I have faith to endure. Do you have faith to endure? Go on and put it in the chat. I'm watching y'all. Come on. There you go. Thank you, Sophia. Uh, 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 yeah, Deborah, Angela, I have faith. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got to move forward. I got a uh, few more minutes. I have faith to endure. Go on and put it in there. Put it. There you go, El Perpina. Uh, I have faith to endure. And, and, and just this is a this is an exercise of faith just in itself because I didn't tell you what you got faith to endure. You just have faith to endure. But the 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 here's the thing: what you have faith to endure. See how faith works. Faith faith is like walking blindly, step by step. Walking blindly. Step by step, you don't see the dirt, you don't see the road, you don't see the way, uh, but you 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 hear the voice of God, you 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 feel the presence of God, and God is leading you, and you're gonna step. You're not worrying about falling, you're not worrying about falling. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody right now. Quit worrying about falling, quit worrying about what's next. Just take one step at a time and pray and, and just Keep listening to the spirit of God. Keep feeling him. And he'll lead you uh, step by step. So you have strength to endure suffering. You have strength to endure being obedient to God's command. You have strength uh, to endure hope of a coming Messiah. You have, you have that strength to endure. And you have strength to endure patience for a heavenly country. Amen. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. But you have that faith. You have that strength to endure. You have faith to go through suffering. You have faith to go through disappointments. You have uh, a faith to go through being obedient to the word of God. You have faith to endure uh, uh, whatever is coming up on you that God allows because God has also given you the faith to deal with those things. Amen. So the Bible says all of these, Abraham, these all died in faith. They died in faith. Not having received the promises, they didn't make it. Uh, but having here it comes y'all ready, having seen them afar off, uh, you can say in the spirit, uh, and were persuaded of them and per embraced them and confessed they were strangers in pilgrim and pilgrims on the earth. Hebrews 11, 13. They, 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 they saw these things. They saw these things. See, the thing about faith is mm, mm, mm. faith will not let you miss anything. Ha uh ha. -huh. Faith will not let you miss anything because you're so far ahead of what's going on. These, these men and women, uh, Noah and Abraham and Sarah and Joseph and Moses, they, they did not, they died, the Bible says, they died in the earth realm. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, all died in faith. They in the in the earth realm, they died, but they not receiving that carnal promise, but having seen the promise. They obtained it. They saw it. They were persuaded. They embraced it and confessed that they were strangers in uh, uh, and pilgrims on earth. So when, when, when uh, we encounter the wickedness of society or feel the pull of the world to conform us to its system, lets us know what we should do. I'm going to say that again. When you encounter the wickedness of society, you're encountering that now. When you encounter the wickedness of society or feel the now, wickedness is not the same as you getting your way. <laughs> okay. Wickedness is not the same as, oh, I don't like them. 
because they don't like me and y'all having a difference of opinion y'all having conflict that's that's not necess- that's not what we're talking about wickedness is when you encounter wicked people people that um they 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 feel like wicked people are entitled uh they feel in doing whatever they need to do to whoever they need to do it to to get what they want that's wicked that's wicked. They have no feelings about the matter. They feel entitled. They feel like I am the devil's child. I'm, the, you know, I'm, I am who I am, and and you know, uh, you might feel bad about it, but they have no, they have no emotions about how they treat or how they what they do. Amen. It's all about them. So when you encounter wicked, the wickedness of society or feel the pull of the world to conform you to its uh, system. Okay, y'all feel that? The world is wanting to conform you to think the way it thinks. The world wants to conform you and will get on your case if you do not, if you are not, if you are, um, uh, share your opinion, if you are verbal and vocal about your stance in the matter that is different from his stance, oh, the world got something for you. Uh, Romans Romans 12 and 2, uh, Romans 12 and 2 lets us know uh, what we should do. Then uh, Romans 12 and 2, go there, go there, go there. Romans 12 and 2. Thank you, Lord. Faith, faith, faith. This is our uh, first session, faith then we should cry out to God, not cry out to your congressman. You can do that too. You can cry out to whomever. Uh, but then, okay, let me go back. When you encounter the wickedness of society or feel the pull of the world to try to force you to be conformed to its systems, the world has systems, what do you do, pastor? That's when we should cry out to God. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto me my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner. You you know right there that that this is not your home. Uh, uh, You can't say you're not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be here. You're on assignment. Uh, but you just got to know this is not where you're supposed to be. It is something. It is something how uh, we can find ourselves fighting over things, uh, fighting over places, uh, expending energy over places that we should not be, or things that we should not be doing. Uh, that God has actually called time on for you in your season. And you still trying to wrestle instead of checking with the master. We are born again. Do not belong to this world. You're born again. You don't belong to this world for our citizenship, as Philippians 3 and 20 says, is in heaven. Jesus said, if you were of this world, the world would love you. The world loves its own. But because you are not of this world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Here comes, therefore, the world hateth you. H-A-T-E-T-H. The world hateth you. Quit trying to get the world to loveth you. If you are born again, understand you are not of the world. You are of the Lord. They hated Jesus. So much so that they crucified him. So you're in good company. Don't be confused. John 15, 19 says this. And because this is true, faith is absolutely essential for our journey. Because the world hateth you, 
you're going up. Faith, divine persuasion, the gift of God is absolutely essential for the journey. In other words, you got to always stay connected in the future. You got to stay connected for what's coming next. Uh, sometimes in faith, God will have you praying in something that you're like, I'm not there. there that's nothing. God knows. Sometimes God will have you dreaming dreams of, of certain things. You're like, why am I dreaming that dream like that? What am I dreaming about stuff like that? What, what is this all about? He knows what comes next. He knows. So when you when you're connected and tethered in the spirit, God will keep you. He, it's just like your phone. It's just like your computer. Uh, sometimes at night it'll say, "When do you want to get your updates? Do you want to get your updates once a week? Do you want to get your updates every night? What time or day or night do you want to get your updates? Do you get your updates at 12 midday? Or get, do you get your updates at 12 midnight? Most of the time, you will choose that you will choose and select the time, here it comes y'all ready, that you are not using your device. So isn't it something? So, so when when God uses, when He tells us, when He pulls on us, and 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 prepares to give us an update in the spirit of what's coming, not what has happened, but what's coming. Faith is about that. Faith is 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 that is that 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 uh. Uh, nav system that's telling you how far it is in the spirits, telling you how long, which direction to go. Faith, amen. So your biblical, uh, let, let me give you this right quick and I'm, I'm almost through. I'm almost, The Bible is full of verses about faith. Uh, 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 and we're going to deal, maybe, maybe I can get about two of them in right quick. Uh, so Romans 12 and 3. Faith is a gift of God, right? Faith is a gift of God. We say it that, right? So uh, 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 according as God has dealt. Okay, so here's this. Romans 12, verse 3. Go there. Go there. Y'all need to put it and, and, and mark all of these because you need to deal with these all uh, for the next four weeks. Just deal with these, dealing with faith, faith, faith. Faith is what operates. Faith is the fuel that will move your spirit. Faith is the fuel that will move your spirit. Uh, faith is the fuel that will move you in the spirit, okay? In, in that heavenly divine place. Faith is a gift of God. So it says, Romans 12 and 3, for I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. But to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Y'all got it? For I say through the grace given unto me. To every man that is among you, all of y'all, not to think of yourself more highly than you are. Because here's the thing. You may have more than the person next to you. You, you, you may have more than the all out there. But, but think soberly. According as God has dealt to every man the measure of, of faith. He, 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 here's somebody God has given uh, various talents. Here's, here's somebody God has given faith in multiple disciplines. Okay? It's not for you to think highly of yourself in those instances. It's for you to thank God uh, for that and how God has dealt with you because it is needed for the body. It is needed for the kingdom. It's not needed for you to raise with carnal minds. It's not for you to raise with uh, uh, old manifestations. 
Amen. But it is for you to operate on behalf of God for kingdom's sake. Okay. So healthy esteem is important. Yes, it is. Because some of us think too little of ourselves. So you got to have healthy esteem. Uh, 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 to operate faith, you got to have healthy esteem. On the other hand, some of us uh, overestimate ourselves. Uh -huh. The key to an honest and accurate evaluation, beloved, is knowing the basis of our self worth our identity in Christ Jesus. Evaluating yourself by the worldly standards of success and achievement can cause you to think too much about what your eyes are seeing. Amen. Okay, what are you saying, Pastor? Let me unpack this. Somebody, some of you out there that's listening, that's watching, God has impregnated you with various and sundry gifts for his sake, for the kingdom's sake. And he's waiting on you. He knows you can. He knows you will stumble up on a word like this. He knows you will turn to a holy nation one day. He knows you will join Holy Nation. He knows you will walk across somebody teaching uh, faith principles and kingdom principles that, 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 that will allow you to unpack, hallelujah, in the spirit now. Unpack in the spirit. You got to take, take your gifts out in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God begin to help you work those things in the spirit, because here's the thing. If you allow him to do it in the spirit, you do it in the spirit. When it manifests, you won't trip. When it manifests, you won't lose your mind. When it manifests, you won't be a, you won't lose it. He he will not give you any more. He won't put any more on you than you can bear. And he will not give you any more than you can bear. Amen. Amen. Let me say faith. Amen. Hallelujah. I have faith to endure. All right, Evangelist Woods. So uh, uh, here's another one. So the first one, faith is a gift of God. Remember that from the beginning. And then without faith, we cannot please God. So we understand that you can't, you cannot please God. And then, okay, the just shall live by their faith. The just shall live by their first Romans 1 and 17. Go there. Romans 1 17. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. Amen. We're gonna we what I might do is uh we we might we might put a a, a um a, a, a committee or or together on this for next week and we can discuss it uh so everybody can it's a lot of a lot of you can get into it and talk about this because I don't want to run past this. I want us to be able to uh, get it, discuss it, uh, have conversation about it. Okay. The just shall live by the faith. Verse 17, uh, Romans 1 and 17 says this, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now I hear people say the just shall live by their faith. That ain't what they say. Y'all see that? The just shall live by faith. By faith. And, and, and we, well, a lot of times we say godly faith or God-given faith. And it, but, but faith is not even necessary to quantify. Ain't, ain't nobody giving out no faith. Faith is a gift from God. Oh, I had faith I was going to do that. You, you're crazy. Now you're taking God's gift and making it your own. See how the world does? Ain't nobody giving out no faith, y'all. God gives faith. It's his gift. Amen? So for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen? It's wrong 117. So Paul is quoting, 
Habakkuk 2 and 4, where Habakkuk may have understood uh, will live to mean this present life only. Have it, you know. But Paul extends this statement to include external life. As we trust God, we are saved. We find life both now and forever. So one more, one more. I got time for one more, one more time. The next one is this. We are sanctified by our faith. We are sanctified by our faith. Acts 26 and 18. We are sanctified or made holy by our faith. Amen. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified by that is in me. Let me read that again. Uh, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them, which is sanctified by faith that is in me. So Paul took every opportunity here to remind his people, his audience, that the Gentiles have an equal share in God's inheritance. We're praying for Jerusalem. Uh, the war is going on. Matter of fact, we're not just praying for Jerusalem. We are praying for the Palestinians. We are praying for all the people of God. Amen. Amen. So, so, so he, he took this opportunity that, that, that the Gentile, us, have an equal share in God's inheritance. This inheritance is the promise and blessings of the covenant that God made with Abraham. Paul's mission was to preach the good news to the Gentiles. Paul stayed laser focused on what he was supposed to do. Amen. God says the Jewish nation is his chosen people, but also Hagar's children. God said, I'm going to take care of them as well. So we can't get caught up in a whole lot of things that we need to know. We need to be caught up in Jesus. See, keep your focus, keep your eyes on Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Listen, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for you. I thank God for all of you. I, 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 uh, faith, faith, faith. We, we, I got more teaching. I'm just out of time. But I thank God for you. And continue to be blessed is our prayer. I hope something was said to bless you, encourage you, and strengthen you to move beyond, to move into the future uh, with your faith principles. Move in the future. So when the manifestation comes, hallelujah, you know God, it, it, it got way more, more where that comes from. There's more from where that comes from. There is more from where that comes from. I'm going to say that one more time. I don't know who it is, but there is more from where that which you have come from. There's more. God, it says, crank up that faith. Uh, uh, crank up that faith. Crank up your faith. Uh, uh, strengthen your faith. Talk to him. Uh, walk in him. Hallelujah. Don't be confused about him. Amen. Hey, you got this far by faith leaning and depending on his everlasting arm. Amen. Let's pray. But before I pray, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge everybody that's listening to me. I want you to sow a $20 seed offering. Sow that $20 seed offering right now. I want you to go. You can go uh, to our cash app, dollar sign, Holy Nation Ministries. Holy Nation Ministries, dollar sign. Holy, and sow a $20 seed gift to Holy Nation Ministries. Ministry, so that's seed, or you can go to Givelify. If you have Givelify, do it right now. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. Exercise your faith. Uh, uh, do that right now. Go to Givelify and look up Holy Nation Ministries and sow a twenty dollar seed gift there. Do it. Do it. Do it. Amen. And if you you don't have that, go to the website. Go to our website, HolyNationMemphis.org. 
holynationmemphis.org. Amen. And so a seed of faith there. Follow the contribution app. Sow that seed there. Do it, do it, do it. You can go to our uh, uh, mobile app, however you want to do that. And you can send it in. You can send it in. Mail it to us, uh, to our post office box. I don't have it uh, uh, with me right now, but go to the website. It is out there. And and make your checks to HNC, Harry Nancy Charles, or Holy Nation Church. And so AC, send it there. Uh, and 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 God, well, there it is. Thank you so much. Crystal, uh, uh, P.O. Box 34381, P.O. Box 34381, P.O. Box 34381. You can sow that seed uh, right there. Amen. However you do that, I know uh, it will be a blessing to ministry. Uh, Holy Nation is doing a whole lot. Things are moving. Uh, we're finally coming out of COVID. I need you guys to make your way back to the sanctuary. Those of you who can, those of you who can't, Continue to do what you're doing. I thank God for you. Uh, however you support, amen, it's kingdom business. We're using kingdom principles, and God is moving by his might and his power. Let's pray. Most gracious and eternal Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and I ask you to continue to bless each soul that's sowing their seed. Those that don't have it to give, bless them equally as well, as you always do. Continue to touch them. Touch the hearts of men. Touch their faith, the gift that you've given them. Stir them up, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you uh, for seeds that are sown. We thank you for prayers that are being prayed. We thank you, God, through the grace of God we give you. Uh, we, we, touch, we ask you to touch us now. Somebody needs healing in their body. Hallelujah. In their arms, their shoulders, their, their kidneys, their prostate. Hallelujah. Their, 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 their fluids need to be balanced. Whatever it is, God, you touch now in the name of Jesus. Heal them because of their faith in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And until next time, I just want to say this. Everything, and I mean everything, is going to be all right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for visiting us on social media. Listen, if you are looking for a place where you can get the word of God for your everyday living, Holy Nation Church of Memphis is the place you need to be. Visit us on our social media. Pastor Andrew Papiner is always teaching the word of God. Uh, our Bible study is at 7 p.m. on Tuesday nights. And then on Sundays at 10 a.m. You do not want to miss it. There is a word in the house just for you, for your everyday living. Also want to encourage you to sow a seed. We do ministry here at Holy Nation, and this is good ground. We go out into the communities, and we believe in reaching the families. Uh, that is the parents, the children, the grandparents. But we believe in reaching into the community and sowing back and sowing into ministry. Just go to Giveify on, on, on our website. I think the information should be there at the bottom. Go out, sow a seed. This is good ground. We look forward to seeing you at the nation soon. Team Drivers, WEI is hiring. Great pay, benefits, comfortable hours. Call now, if you want to get on the open road and see the country. Join the professionals, at Warhorse Enterprises Incorporated. Team Drivers, with doubles and triples endorsements. Call now, for that change you have been looking for. Remember, W-E-I, where we treat you as family. Through technology, the local church can now become global. In Peace Mobile App has developed a state-of-the-art solution which can help your church move into that next level of ministry. Contact us today and schedule a Zoom demo for you and your team. Remember, In Peace is the app developed by Pastor.